Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Eye Opener. This is Dr. Mridula V. Amarnathir. So today I thought I'll discuss a topic with you all which is which most of you must have experienced. Dry eye. So not always dry eye should be related to a medical condition. Maybe a little change in your lifestyle modifications would be simple and would be a treatment for your dry eye. So your eyes get dry generally when it does not make enough tears or when the tears dry up too quickly. Now dry eye, other causes, conditions for dryness of your eye could be either because of allergies or medications, certain medical conditions, hormones and of course age. Okay, so generally most people above the age of 65 years tend to have dryness of their eye. So now what are the symptoms that you would experience if you have dryness? One, you will have a constant irritation, a gritty, scratchy kind of a sensation. You'll also have burning sensation of your eye. You might feel that something is present inside your eyes, a foreign body sensation. And there'll also be constant watering from your eyes. Some individuals might also have a blurriness of their vision. So what do you do? So just sit back, give yourself 10 minutes and try to figure out what could be the reasons for these dry for the dryness of your eyes before you start panicking and rushing to an hospital. So just give yourself 10 minutes and I'll tell you what could be the causes and what could be the treatment possibilities. Fine? So are you ready? Let's begin. So the first one is if you are indoor. Now whether your living space or your workspace is heated or air conditioned, what happens is if there is a lack of moisture, it can make your eyes go red, dry, irritated and even itchy. And adding to that, if you have glare because of the poor lighting system or even indoor air pollutants, it can further aggravate your condition. So all you have to do is simple. Place plants in your living room or your workspace or a dish with water in it. Also, you could use humidifier to keep the air moist and warm. Second thing is being outside. Smoke, dust and extremes of temperature, either cold or too hot, can further cause dryness of your eye. Even in places where the air isn't too dry, can be dirty with air pollutants and this can affect your eyes. So whenever you're going outside, make it a point to wear sunglasses with a wraparound frame. That really helps and that can protect your eyes from the sun, which is also another advantage and also prevent dryness of your eyes. Fine. Third thing is makeup. I'm sure most of the girls love to wear eyeliners, eyeshadows, kajal, everything. But eye makeup, uh, side effect of is that is the eye makeup can clog those little little glands that are present near the eyelashes. Fine. And this can again cause a gritty or a foreign body sensation. And if you put eyeliner inside your eye, then what happens is they move too quickly into your eyes and that again can cause a disturbance. So I wouldn't say no to eye makeup, wear your eye makeup, but at the end of the day, make sure you thoroughly remove the eye makeup from your lids, eyelashes, wash your eyes with warm water, use an antiseptic wipe and that will certainly make a difference. So the next one is wearing contact lens. Now wearing contact lens often goes hand in hand with eye irritation. I'm sure many of those who are wearing contact lens would certainly agree that they often complain of dryness of their eyes. So one thing is change your contact lens regularly to prevent any protein deposits which can again cause dryness of your eye. Fine. You may sometimes also want to opt for the daily disposable ones or you could another option which you could try is switching on to silicone based hydrogen lens that doesn't allow water to evaporate too quickly. Sometimes if it is too severe, then you can also try scleral lenses. Now this not only covers the black color part, but also the white color that is called as a sclera. So it also covers the scleral part of your eyes. But trust me, before you try out any kind of contact lens, it is mandatory that you consult an ophthalmologist, try it out and only then start wearing them. 
Fine. Now, not only the contact lenses, even the contact lens solution, contact lens solution can also cause dryness of your eyes. This is because some, some, not all, some solutions they contain this preservative. Fine. Now, this preservative can further aggravate the dryness of your eyes. And some contact lenses do not get along with certain type of contact lens. Again, so now I have in fact made a separate video on that for you to understand it better. But just remember, before you purchase any contact lens solution, discuss it with your ophthalmologist and only then purchase it. Fine. The next thing is the usage of computers and other electronic gadgets. So what happens is when you're staring at the computer screen for a long number of hours, it tends to cause dryness of your eyes. Fine. So this is what we call as the computer vision syndrome. Not just computers, you look at your mobile or you stare at your TV screen. What happens is the number of times you blink your eyes reduces. And blinking of your eyes is extremely important say for two reasons. One, it restores the tear film. So each time you blink, there is a circulation of the tear film. And now this tear film is extremely important because it keeps your eye nourished. And the second thing is each time you blink, it helps to remove all the dead cells, the fallen particles from your eyes. So it is mandatory that you have to blink your eyes at least 15 to 20 times in a minute. Remember that. And the second thing is the golden rule of 20, 20, 20. That is every 20 minutes, look at a distance at 20 feet, 20 feet for 20 seconds. Do not forget that it's extremely, extremely important. So the next thing is dehydration. Drinking too little of water might cause dry eyes, particularly if it is during this hot, dry or too windy conditions. Studies have also shown that too much of alcohol consumption can also cause drying of your eyes. So now the only solution to this is hydrate, hydrate and hydrate. Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every single day. Fine. Next is your diet. So in your diet, make sure you have enough amount of omega-3 fatty acid. That is the good fat in your diet. Now this basically you can get this by eating food which mainly like salmon, tuna, mackerel. Okay, these basically help to increase your omega-3 fatty acids. In case if you're not a fish lover, then you also get these supplements, omega-3 fatty acid supplements that you can just consume, the capsules you can consume there. Another thing is also try uh, taking in vitamin E capsules, fine. Vitamin A is also equally important and try and incorporate them in your diet. So basically, if you have a lot of carrot, sweet potato, bell pepper, that should do, fine. The next thing is smoking. Now, cigarette smoke can cause irritation as well as dryness of your eyes. So if you're not a smoker, but if you're around people who smoke, even that can affect your eyes. Studies again have shown that there is a strong link between smoking and a breakdown of the tear film. Fine. So smoking can make your eyes extremely sensitive. The next one is chemicals and fumes. Now, whether you're at work or working on a crafted project at home, the chemical fumes, fine, that can cause irritation of your eyes. So you have something called as the volatile organic compound, VOC. Now, this is found in these cleaners, solvents, paints, furniture carpets, even dry cleaned clothes. So what happens is when they, when they are used, they tend to evaporate into the air if they're not stored properly and that can cause a harm to your eyes. So whenever you're using them, use the gentle, the unscented cleaning products to cut down on the volatile organic compounds. Or even you could use a vacuum with a HEPA filter that tends to absorb or catch up all these allergens. Okay, now even permanent markers which you use even those contain this volatile organic compound. So when you're working on any craft project, try to use stuffs which have a very low amount of this volatile organic compound. Or even while you're working, make sure you keep your windows open or you have a fan that is constantly running. And once you're done, immediately close them tightly. That's important. Fine. The next thing is while swimming. So even while swimming, you put your eyes in direct contact with chlorine and certain other chemical compounds. 
and this can cause dryness, irritation, even redness of your eyes. And you have a constant sensation, sensation, you feel it constantly rubbing your eyes. So if you feel that you're going to spend a lot of time in the swimming pool, then make it a point to always wear your goggles to protect your eyes. Fine. So when do you see a doctor? See, generally dry eyes is usually a temporary condition and it is treatable. But sometimes what happens is when you have this dryness of your eye for a very long period or if it tends to start causing a lot of pain, inflammatory sort of a situation, then and even a permanent damage to the surface of your eye, then you will have to consult an ophthalmologist. Probably he will have a thorough examination and do start you on the necessary medications. But otherwise, these simple steps and tips that I have told you will certainly do the magic. So follow them and stay safe. Thank you.